Hello and welcome. Till now we discussed that our DOT had a single register. We developed a verification environment for that. We developed the register model for that. And we try to understand the coverage part for that, right? And we understood that coverage part also. Now let me show you if our DOT has a single memory in it, then how we can write the verification environment for that by considering a RAL register abstraction layer. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, now our DOT consists of a single memory in it. The depth of this memory is 16 and the width of this memory is 8. It has several inputs and one out. So clock, write enable, D in, an address and D out is the output. Clock, write enable, D in and address are the inputs and the output is output for this D. I will show you how to write a simple RTL code for this DUT. And then from the next video, we'll try to develop a verification environment to verify this DUT which has a single memory in it. Okay, so our verification environment will consist the agent which is active agent which consists of the three essential components sequencer, driver and monitor. So driver will drive the stimulus to the DUT through this interface and on the other hand this monitor will use to capture the information through this interface from the DUT. And it has the analysis port, so it will broadcast this captured information to multiple components. So in our environment, we are considering the scoreboard. So scoreboard and predictor. So this scoreboard as well as predictor will consist of the analysis implementation port. And the scoreboard responsibility is to do a comparison and the predictor component on the other hand you will find it is used to update the register database meaning the predict uh, meaning the mirrored value okay. adapter class is also there which is used to convert the generic register transaction to equivalent bus transaction and bus transaction to the register transaction so already i have explained that the internal structure of the predictor which also consists of this adapter so as the monitor analysis port monitor is broadcasting this data to multiple components this predictor analysis implementation port is getting this bus data right bus transaction and with the help of predictor if we are updating the register database then it should have the adapter so the internal predictor structure if you see you will find that it has the adapter which convert this captured bus information or bus transaction to its equivalent register transaction so as you can see i have just highlighted using dotted line this input of this predictor is a bus transaction and at the output of this predictor you'll find over here i highlighted using red, red dotted line that output of this predictor you will find the register transaction and internal structure of this predictor i already explained which consists of the adapter which convert this bus transaction to its equivalent register transaction so this is what the entire testbench architecture we will consider to verify this dot which has a single memory in it <coughs> okay now let me show you the design code okay so this is what a dot ram 16 cross it depth is 16 and the width is 8 okay it has several inputs clock write enable d in address and single output d out okay 
the code which I have written using system Verilog HDL. You can use Verilog HDL. It is your choice. Okay. So module name memory DUT mem DUT and I have defined a parameter. So I'm making this code as a parameterized one. Depth is 16, width is 8. So more generic code so that in future if you want to change the depth and width, you can change from here itself. <coughs> Now all the inputs and output ports of this RAM, I am defining logic type. Input clock write enable input D in, which is of 8 bit. Okay. The address is of 4 bit and the output is of 8 bit also. Okay. Here I am defining the internal memory for our DUT. Logic width minus 1 down to 0. Mem and the depth. Okay. This is what the procedural block system very lock HDL procedural block always underscore FF at the rate passage of the clock every passage of the clock within begin A and block I am writing if write enable is high whatever the input is there in D I am writing that into the memory based on address else meaning if write enable is zero I am reading the content of the memory at the output. Very simple. This is what a simple interface for our, uh, you know, memory DUT. Interface, DUT interface, and interface. Here I am defining the parameter for depth and width, and all the inputs and output of our DUT, defining them as a logic. This is what a simple definition of an interface, and a simple hardware design code for this memory or RTL code you can consider. Okay. If you see the uh, you know verification environment as we developed the register class in the last video, right? From the last video we are discussing this register class declaration. Over there I told you Whenever we are defining our own register, we have to extend it from UVM register. And as a part of RHEL, whatever the classes we are defining, then we have all those classes we have to define with the QVM object details factory station macro. We have to register with the QVM object details factory station macro. Because as a part of RHEL, all the classes are objects. Then that register has a field F0, as we discussed. Okay. And its default constructor, which consists of uh, over there, we are defining the width of the register and no separate coverage we want, hence UVM no coverage argument we are giving. Then for a register, right, we have to define a build method which consists of creation of a field. So F0, we had a single field. And after that, for the field of register we have to provide a configure information which consists of a, some nine arguments but the interesting point here in memory declaration is that apart from function new nothing we have to define so the if you compare the declaration of a register and declaration of memory class you will find the memory class declaration is bit easy compared to this uh, register class declaration because apart from function new, nothing is needed for it. So how to define a memory class in our RHEL? Our class name mem I am giving extends from UVM mem end class. In that, take UVM object details factory registration macro. And its default constructor, we have to provide some arguments over here. So name, then the second argument is a depth. So as you remember, our memory has the depth is 16 and width is 8. Okay. So if you find over here, the depth is 16, we are providing that. Then the next argument is the 8, which is a width of our memory. Third argument, the fourth argument over here is the access type of access. So write and read, read and write access we are providing. And the Fifth argument over here is UVM no coverage because you remember we discussed last time that if we want to include a coverage in our uh, you know 
in your rel environment we can define the coverage using that that argument right so right now we are not considering any coverage hence we are defining uvm no coverage so as you dis as we discussed last time that we are defining this argument from this uvm coverage model underscore e which is used to define the coverage model available or desired so right now we are not considering the coverage for our memory hence we are defining that argument as a uvm no coverage okay so this is what a very simple definition for memory class declaration okay. so this is what the you know simple explanation for the verification environment of a dut which consists of a single memory the depth the depth is 16 and width is 8 for we are considering for our ram this is what a simple verification environment from the next video i will explain you how we can write the entire you know test bench architecture by considering this rel we'll define all the things uh, meaning the adapter register sequence the <coughs> the you know memory declaration class and all things we'll try to explore about more from the next week okay so with this i hope you have understood how we can define a memory class for our this duty which consists of a single memory in it okay and also i hope you understood this verification environment what we are considering in our verification environment the agent predictor scoreboard register model register sequence from the next video we'll try to explore more about it and we'll try to verify the you know dut which consists of ml okay so with this i hope you have understood the concepts of this uh, you know dut verification when consists of a single ram and the verification in group and also i hope you enjoyed this video. so thanks for watching thank you